Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the GVM brand. It stands for Great Video Maker. This is their red, green, and blue LED video light kit. This is a three pack. Comes with the excellent holder that you see in front of you. It's very big, about three feet by one and a half feet by about Oh, nine inches. We're going to open it up and show you. I don't normally do an unboxing video, but this is impressive the way they pack this. So this is photography lighting kit and it has app control. We're going to show how to control this. It's a 680 RS model. It's a 50 watt. And you can use this thing in your studio any type, anytime you're doing video recording, taking pictures, and you want to enhance the background or the foreground with color controlled very high quality LED light this is the product to get so this works at 100 to 240 volts has a US plug on there 50 watts as I mentioned it has a CRI greater than 97 and that's the quality index of the light and you typically want to have it over 90 in fact it's 97 it says that it's really good that means you're not going to get flicker and it's not going to really be annoying to your own eyes to look at this has a color temperature from 3200 to 5600 K, has hue control, red, green, blue from 0 to 360 degrees, saturation from 0 to 100%, and this is very bright. We're going to try and test this in my studio in the basement, and it's bright at 8500 lux at half a meter away, or 3000 lux at one meter away. It has uh, various scenes, uh, eight of them. And it has a television setting, candles, police cars, lightning paparazzi, disco, party, broken light bulbs, camera lighting for Zoom, WebEx, web conference, lighting for video recording, broadcast. We're going to go through those modes. And this is app controlled you know, with a Bluetooth app. And we're going to show that. And you can control the brightness, color, and temperature, hue, and other things with that app. And you could set one light as a master mode and the other GVM light as a slave mode, which you could easily control all lights with one master. And you do that through the app and also through the device itself. And there's no wires to do that. It's all done remotely. You can power this by the included three AC adapters or a Sony F750 or F or a Sony 970 battery, which are 7.4 volts lithium ion. That's not included, but you can get that easily on Amazon. I'll have a link for that. This package is we're going to show. It includes three red, green, and blue video lights, three power cords, three AC to DC adapters, three diffusers, three uh, folding pages, three light stands, and a carry bag you see. And it also includes a nicely written manual that you see right here. So you unzip the, the top, and you have the two lights and they're packed in these really nice holders now we're going to unzip the other side holders and they have the and they have the three light stands let's remove those put those aside very nice high quality holder that has one of those pull straps on there you lift this up and you have the third light and this box right here, we're going to open this up, see what's inside here. And this has your three AC to DC adapters. This DVM kit includes three stands to hold the lights. And they open and expand nicely, just like that. We're going to show this opened up being used, but that's how it basically works. And then you have a knob to tighten that, and that locks it in place really nicely. And then you have three additional knobs on the side, and you could slide these open and lock each one in place. Now, I found that it holds it really nicely. We're a little bit looser. This is really very tight. Once you lock these down, these are not going anywhere. There's three. AC to DC adapters. They have a grounded US plug on there and they have the barrel connector. 
that will go into the light, provide the voltage. And they have this nice little 90 degree end right there. I like that. And an indicator light. And if you look at the specs of this, it says 15 volts at 4 amp. That's pretty amazing. That's a lot of power for a small profile like this. And the ends can be removed if you want. Or plugged right back in. And once you power them up, there is a green LED that comes on to let you know that they are powered. Let's take a look at the front of the, the GVM680RS. And you can see it's got these nice barn doors that are on hinges and you open it up and that allows you to block the light as you'd expect. Sometimes you want to contour the light so that it's blocked in certain directions depending on your subject. Then you can see a diffuser panel in there as I push it gets a little clearer and that panel can be removed on the side just like that and then you have the option of having no diffuser or having the diffuser on there. And then on the bottom of the light there there is the mounting bracket and a, a uh, turn knob that will allow you to tighten it and then on the sides of the unit let's close this up here on the sides of the light there are turnbuckles also and I really like the style of these where they have them set up they have them set up with an indent for your fingers and it just makes it really easy to turn them they're on both sides like that and they're very sturdy once you lock this in place this thing will not move you have the choice of locking each side and then it keeps it in place really nicely on the stands there is a little cap and that is a standard one quarter 20 the industry standard so you can mount other things to this that are one quarter 20 even a camera but this plugs right into here just like that then there's the indent right there and then you could lock it in place by turning that knob it's just that simple and it locks it really really nicely and tight i have this plugged in with the ac to dc adapter that's included and then you can see there's a switch here it has a battery position so if we were powering it with the sony batteries that would be the position then it has a center off and then that position right there turns the unit on and we get right to the display so i have this running on 100 percent 5600 kelvin with the uh, saturation 100 percent and so it's white light yeah, I just want to do a thermal test. I've had it running for about 25 minutes. I want to show you how cool these units run. So this is the back of it. 76 degrees. My cable here, 71 degrees. So you can see it barely has any warmth. Now if we go to the LEDs themselves, let's take a look at what's going on here. 92 degrees 96 degrees so you can see these run very cool these lights and that's what allows them to last for like 50,000 hours LEDs are the way to go very very cool no temperature and the, the quality of this light is really high so I have that same light plugged in to a kilowatt meter and you can see that it's only drawing 26 watts on the brightest setting, the white light with 100% saturation and brightness. So they're very, very efficient. So right now I'm on 5600, I'm on white light, the brightest, and I have a lux meter, and it's in t uh, t units of 1000. So you can see it's showing 9.1 thousand or 9,000 lux, and I'm at half a meter away about 1.6 feet and that's pretty much exactly what they're specifying so this is pretty bright now to demonstrate that one of the lights I have a screen that is custom made and it's right about a foot behind the GVM light and that way we can look at the display as I go through the different settings so right now what's in the rotate mode, you can go through the various modes by hitting the mode button right there. You can change channels by using the up and down right there. But in this basic mode, you have 
brightness control and you can see the light is all white right now I can dim this down or raise it back up you can see the effect on the screen right there and then if I turn this knob right here you can see the color temperature in Kelvin is changing now the camera might be auto correcting for that but it is getting warmer and warmer down to 3200 Kelvin and then I could increase it back up to 5600 Kelvin now if you want to get into the scenes there are eight really cool scenes on here you hold this button down for a couple seconds And there is a scene number displayed right there. So right there, that is scene number eight. And on this scene, you could adjust the brightness. On all the scenes, you could actually adjust the brightness. There's some additional controls on given scenes. So let's click the button again. And now it went to scene one. And that's a different scene and again we could adjust the brightness right there and let's click it down one more now we're at scene two this looks like police car and again we can adjust the brightness that's really cool looking then we go to scene three and we have brightness control scene four brightness control and I'll have a list of what these scenes do and in scene 5 this scene's unique because you could adjust the brightness like the other scenes but you could also turn this knob here and you could adjust the color temperature of those different scenes so here is scene 6 and you could adjust the brightness then this knob right here will adjust the time of that scene so you have a lot of flexibility here to change the parameters using that knob and change the brightness using that knob and then the next scene is seven and seven also you have brightness and you also have a control to adjust the time if you want to return to the first mode and get out of the scenes you hold this button down for a couple seconds and it goes back to this other mode where you could just have a solid color brightness and ability to change the color temperature now with this mode button right here we're going to go out of the rotate mode then you hit the mode again and you have the app control then you have different channels up on top there so right now it's on channel 12 and it says app and we're going to try the app so there it says BT LED let's hit connect so you can see right here I've got on and off and I have color control and you can see it's changing on this display right here and then I have brightness there and then you have maybe you have the functions right here and here you can just change the color directly and again it's showing you a corresponding change right there then you have a saturation percent here and brightness right there very nice so it immediately connected then you have scenes and here is what's nice about the app is it shows you the different scenes TV party paparazzi where they're taking flashes disco bad bulb that's pretty funny bad bulb you know they don't say bad LED bulb candle lighting and then you have my scenes right here you could add your custom scenes so that once you set something you can add it to your scenes so very simple app and very nice how well it works the first time I want to point out that you have to have your Bluetooth on
for this to work properly. So here I have all three GVMs that come in this kit and they're all powered up and with the included stands and I have all three of them set to the maximum bright 5600K. You see how bright my green screen is. So I have the first one set to master mode channel 6 second one set to channel 6 and slave mode and third one set to channel 6 slave mode and then by doing that anytime I go to this unit and change the brightness then the corresponding unit changes and I could change the color also and it's totally synchronized with it without any Bluetooth it's done wirelessly between the three units and you can control a lot of these by syncing up channels you can control as many as you like this is very impressive now I still have it as the first one as the master and the two as slave and then I have the app connected to the first master one now any changes I make go across and affect all three of them so I could put on scenes and you could see they're all doing that scene so let me see if I pick Disco. Now they're all doing disco. How cool is that? No connections and they're all responding to the master slave and you can buy more of these units and set up your whole studio this way. So what's my overall opinion about this three pack of the GVM Great Video Maker? This is the model GVM 680R S. This is really cool. The app worked really well. The control of these by whatever method you're using without wires is amazing. The lights are bright. The, the lux that they specify at the distances they specify. They don't generate heat. The stands are locked in place. They work really well. The diffusers work really well on there. This is a really good value and I love this product. I'm going to give it a full five star rating. Please remember hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll learn the new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with all your buying decisions. Thank you for watching.